You're listening to Mana for the Day. Magandang araw po sa lahat at welcome po sa Mana for the Day. Sa araw pong ito, ang ating pong scripture ay matatagpuan po sa Book of Luke, chapter 7, verses 1 to 7. When Jesus had finished saying all this to the people who were listening, he entered Capernaum. There a centurion servant, whom his master valued highly, was sick and about to die. The centurion heard of Jesus and sent some elders of the Jews to him, asking him to come and heal his servant. When they came to Jesus, they pleaded earnestly with him, This man deserves to have you do this, because he loves our nation and has built our synagogue. So Jesus went with them. He was not far from the house when the centurion sent friends to say to him, Lord, don't trouble yourself, for I do not deserve to have you come under my roof. That is why I did not even consider myself worthy to come to you, but say the word and my servant will be healed. Tanong po mga kapatid, Ano pong klase ng pananampalataya ang nagbibigay lugod sa Panginoon? Sa text po natin sa araw na ito ay patungkol po sa isang Roman centurion na nakikiusap sa Panginoong Yesus na pagalingin ang kanyang kasambahay. Ipinapakita po sa text na ito ang pagmamalasakit ng centurion officer sa kanyang servant. Kaya naman po hinihiling niya sa Panginoon na siya ay kanyang pagalingin. Pero ito po ang nakakamangha sa centurion officer, yung kanyang pananampalataya sa Panginoon na mismong ang Panginoong Jesus ay namangha sa kanyang pananampalataya. It was a faith that believed Jesus possessed the power to heal his servant with a simple word. On the other hand naman po, throughout the Gospels, marami pong mga hudyo na madalas hinihiling muna sa Panginoon na siya ay magpakita po ng signs and wonders. If Jesus performed signs and wonders, then saka po sila maniniwala na siya po ang Misaya. Malaking kabaliktaran po ang makikita natin sa pananampalataya ng Roman Centurion. Siya na isang hintil na sinasabi sa Panginoon na hindi niya po kailangan pumunta sa bahay niya upang pagalingin ang kanyang kasambahay. Naniniwala siya na hindi na kailangan ng Panginoon na physically hawakan ang kasambahay at pagalingin. Hindi rin po kailangan ng Roman Centurion ng signs and wonders para mapaniwala po siya na kaya pong pagalingin ng Panginoon ang kanyang kasambahay. Pagkos, ang sabi ng Roman Centurion, But say the word and my servant will be healed. Naniniwala siya na sa salita lamang po ng Panginoon, ay gagaling po ang kanyang kasambahay. That is the kind of faith that pleases God. The question for us today is this. What kind of faith do you possess? Do you try to barter with God and say, Lord, if you will only do this, then I will believe. Or do you simply believe and wait for Him to act? Seek to possess faith like this centurion. Ask the Lord to give you faith rooted in His character and word rather than in what He can give you. This is a type of faith that pleases God. Let us pray. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you for blessing us your word today. May we always have the faith like the centurion that we believe and always pleases you in everything we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And that was our mana for the day. Subscribe and follow our social media accounts for more content and be updated with Marine Christian Fellowship.